What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Gump Nation with your boy Kangaroo Black. And I'm coming back once again to talk about my Alabama Crimson Tide and the offensive line. According to Coach Kalen DeBoer, my Alabama Crimson Tide is short on offensive linemen. Well, scholarship offensive linemen. Um, we only have 12 scholarship offensive linemen. And as far as the tackle position, we only have four scholarship offensive tackles. Uh, three of those offensive tackles is young and inexperienced. Uh, the only really experienced one is Elijah Pritchett. He done had some snaps at uh, left tackle, uh, preferably in his uh, freshman year last season. He didn't get many snaps at left tackle because of um, of Caden Proctor. You know, Caden Proctor, he's coming back. And uh, when we say 12 scholarship offensive linemen, it's not counting Caden Proctor. But Caden Proctor is coming back, but he can't return until the transfer portal opens on April the 15th. But as, now, as of now for the spring, we only have four scholarship offensive tackles. Um, Coach Kalen DeBoer, he talked about the offensive line, and uh, he said, you know, offensive line-wise, even if you just look at our scholarship numbers, we are short there. And he's saying you need a lot of uh, offensive linemen to get through the season in which you do, just in case somebody uh, goes down. But uh, we got enough offensive linemen for the first team, second team, or whatever. But uh, we need more than what we got, and we especially need uh, more tackles. So it's good that uh, Caden Proctor is coming back. You know, Caden Proctor, he had some growing pains his uh, freshman season last year, but he did end up being an All-American. And uh, former right tackle J.C. Latham, he talked about uh, he talked about Caden Proctor saying that he's a young pup. He was a young pup, but if you look at his uh, you know how he how he uh, got better, you know from game one to the end of the to the end of the season, you could see the improvement. And Caden Proctor turned in his best performance in the SEC uh, championship. He had a grade of about 74.5 or something like that. But that was his uh, best game of the season. But the thing about Caden Proctor, um, he gave up uh, a lot of sacks last season. I think he gave up 12 sacks. And he was tied for, I think, fifth most in quarterback uh, pressures with like 36 so he's got to have a big improvement this year. The good thing about it, uh, it came out to Caden Proctor and lost weight, just like all the rest of the Alabama um, um, offensive linemen. They ain't so big now. So in 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 uh, in Kalen DeBoer's offense, these offensive linemen needed to trim down, shed some weight, so they can get out on blocks. So that's a good thing that Caden Proctor already has uh, lost weight. But anyway, um, like I say, left tackle, <laughs> we have, uh, let's see who we got. We got uh, five-star, well, we, I'm just talking about the tackle position. We got five-star uh, redshirt sophomore Elijah Pritchett, and, uh, which I mentioned him. He's been a mainstay at left tackle with the first team offense through the spring as of right now. Then we got... Uh, Red shirt freshman Wilkin Formula and Miles McVay, and they split split uh first team reps reps at the left tackle. I mean at the right tackle spot. Then we got Texas A and M the Quill Beltran. He's working with the uh, second team left tackle spot. So those are the two. I mean the four uh, tackles that we got right now. But like I said, those those guys are young except for uh, Elijah Pritchett. It says uh, none of those four have college starts to their name. Like I, Elijah Pritchett is not young, but he don't have a start. So none of those guys have ever started a game. Pritchett is the most experienced with the com combined 800 and 808 offensive snaps of, over the two seasons he's been at Alabama. Uh, Miles McVay took part. He had 28 offensive snaps last season while Wilkin Formerly only saw 14 snaps. Uh, in his freshman season. And uh, Nequil Beltran transfers from, from Texas A&M. He didn't see the field last season at Texas A&M. So like I said, those guys are young. Now getting Caden Proctor back 
will help out a lot. But like I said, Caden Proctor need to be much improved than from last year going into 2024. But anyway, um, Caden Proctor, he played all 14 games last season. So that is a lot of experience, even though he was just a freshman uh, last season. And remember, like I said, he had, he became an, uh, a freshman All-American. So it is what it is. Like, But again, he allowed 12 sacks last season, tied for the most sacks allowed by a left tackle. All right. And 12th most pressures with 36. I said five or six, but right here he's got uh, 12. But anyway, uh, it also says, according to sources, Proctor is said to have dropped a significant amount of weight this offseason after standing six foot seven, 360 pounds last season. That's a big man. That is a big man. But anyway, losing that weight, that'll help him maintain stamina throughout the game. That'll make him quicker on his feet. So get uh, get out and uh, block those defensive ends coming off that left side, which he had problems with last season. But hey, it is what it is. I got I got the utmost confidence in Coach Kaden on the board that he will get this offensive line together. But on the bright side, transfer portal opens up. Like I say, April fifteenth, maybe we can get some more guys uh, uh, in and help fill out this offensive line at every position so because uh 12 offensive linemen is not enough is <laughs> not enough and plus you, you you got the two guards and the center you know so i mean if you if you got <laughs> two at each position uh, was that eight you got four left so you got basically you can fill out first second and third team but if somebody go down or two Two guys go down. You're going to be in a world of hurt. So we need uh, Coach Kalen DeBoer need to work on this uh, on this transfer portal, you know, coming in to 2024 as far as getting more offensive linemen. So, hey, it is what it is. But, you know, it won't help us this year, but Coach Kalen DeBoer, he's tearing up this uh, recruiting trail. So, hey, plus we do have guys coming in uh, this fall too or in the summer. So, Hopefully some of those guys are offensive linemen. I haven't checked into that yet. The guys who's coming in, the only one I know who's coming in as of right now is uh Ryan Williams in the in the in the uh in the summertime. But I'm sure, I'm quite sure it's more. So hey, can't wait till them guys get there, man. And uh can't wait hey to Caden Proctor get back. But one thing I got to say about Caden Proctor, in my opinion, I feel like he he has to earn his starting position once again. You got these guys in here putting this work in during the spring. I don't feel like he should just come in and automatically be a starter once again. And he can, unless he shows that he has improved from last year and he, he's better than the guys that's been there this spring. That's just my opinion. So, hey, it is what it is, man. But uh, I got faith. I got faith in my Alabama Crimson Tide. You know, all they done, they done counted us out, man. You know, they, they, we won't be this and we won't be that simply because uh, Nick Saban is no longer there. But it's up to Coach Kalen DeBoer, the staff, and these players to prove them wrong. But one thing about it, all these players, they are bought in to what the whole entire coaching snap, staff is selling. Those guys are bought in. They are motivated. So that's all. That's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. They believe in this coaching staff. This coaching staff got these guys motivated, got them ready to go to work. Plus, these guys are putting in work on their own, going in in the, in the facility at 4 and 5 o'clock in the morning. So putting in that work, showing everybody that they want to be great. And I think they will be great. So, hey, it is what it is. But this offensive line is going to be better. Can this offensive line be one of the best in the country? Yes, they can. Even though we didn't have some growing pains over the last three, four years. Well, well I'll say the last three years 
uh, as an offensive line as a whole. So, but I think, you know, under this staff, it'll be better. So, it is what it is. Plus, plus uh, you know, we do have some veterans on this offensive line. We're just young at, at uh, the tackle position. Like I say, we got veterans. We got Tyler Booker coming back. We got uh we got uh uh Jaden Jaden Roberts coming back, two veteran guards, and we got Parker Breswell coming back. Even though he was just a freshman last year at uh with, with Washington, he got that experience. All right. Yeah, uh, he was the best center in all of college football last season. And if you look at his film, you will see why. So the interior offensive lineman, we we good at that. Long as they stay healthy, we good in those positions, okay. But we got to get this tackle position right. Put the best guys out there. So we'll see how it work out. And uh, hey, that's all I got for y'all right now. And roll, damn tide.